That pilgrim's hands may touch and pop the palm is holy palmer's lips. And not the saints' lips and holy palmer's too. I pilgrim, lips that they must use in prayer. Then let lips do what hands do. They pray, grant thou, lest faith turn to despair. Saints do not <coughs> grant their prayers there. Then move not, for my prayers affect thy take. Thus from my lips by yours, my sin is purged. Then have my lips the sin that they have took. Sin from thy lips? Oh, trespass, sweet Lears, give me thy sin again. You come, let's away, this court is at its best. I am so I fear, more is my unrest. <laughs> nay, nay, gentlemen, burn up all good Mercutio. Nay, nay, I'll conjure too. <clears throat> Tybalt. 
More than Prince of Cats, I can tell you. He is a courageous captain of compliments. He fights. As you sing, prick song, keeps time, distance, and proportion. Rest means minimum rest. One, two, and a third, in your bosom. The very one shirt is so button. A duelist, a duelist, a gentleman of the very first house, of the first and second cause. Ah, the immortal Pesaro! Hua! The Punto Mereso! Yeah. The hide! The what? The pods of such antic, lisping, affecting fantasticos. These new tuners of accents. <clears throat> By Jibu, a very good blade, a very tall man, a very good whore. Why, is not this a lamentable thing, grandsire, that we should be thus afflicted with these strange flies, these fashion mongers, these perdonamis, who stand so much on the new form? But they cannot at ease on the ugh, old bench. Ugh, their bones, their bones. Here comes Romeo. Here comes Romeo. Without his room, a tribe Harry. Flesh, flesh, how with a fish and pie. Signor Romeo, bonjour. There's a French salutation to your French slop. You gave us the counterfeit fairly last night. Good morning to you all. What counterfeit did I give? The slip, sir. The slip? Can you not conceive? Pardon, good Percuccio. But my business was great, and in such a case as mine, a man may strain courtesy. Huh. That's as much to say. Such a case as yours constrains a man to bow in the hand. <laughs> Meaning to courtesy? Oh, that was most kindly hit it. <coughs> a most courteous expression. Nay, I am the very pink of courtesy. Pink for flower? <laughs> right. Why then is my pump? Well, <laughs> well said. Fall me this jest now, so that I was worn out thy pump. <laughs> so that when a single soul that is worn, the jest may remain after the wearing soul singular. Oh, single soul, jest ah! singular for the singular. Come between us, and bully your might. Which face, which is verse, which is verse, or I'll cry out. Nay, if thy wits were on the wild goose chase I've done, for thou art worth the wild goose in one of thy wits, then I'm sure I have my whole five. Was I with you there for the goose? Thou was never with me for anything, and thou was not there for the goose. I will bite thee by the ear for that jest, maybe. I'm not going to bite thou. <laughs> Why? Is not this better now than groaning for love? Now art thou sociable, now art thou Romeo, now art thou without art, by art as well as by nature. <laughs> for this driveling love is like a great natural that runs lowly up and down to hide his bauble in a hole. Here's when we hear. A sail, a sail. Two, two, a shirt and a small. Peter, to hide his face, for fans the fairer face. God, you give more, gentlemen. Mm, God, you good den, fair gentlemen. Is it good den? Tis no less, I tell you. For the body hand of the dial is now upon the prick of doom. What matter of you? The one gentle one that God has made for himself tomorrow. And I trot it as well said, for himself tomorrow to pay. Gentlemen, can any of you tell me where we find the young Romeo? I can tell you, but the young Romeo will be older when you found him than he was when you saw him. <laughs> I'm the youngest of that man, for both of the worse. If you be he, sir, I desire some confidence with you. She will indict him to some supper. Oh, bada, 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 so ho. We'll follow you. Farewell, lady, farewell. Lady, lady, lady. <laughs> Mary, farewell. One good woman who loves to hear herself speak. And we'll talk more in a minute than we'll stand to in a month. And speak anything against me, I'll take him down. And any more less to them in twenty seconds. I pray thee, good Mercutio, let's retire. The day is hot, the Capulets abroad, and if we meet, we shall not escape a brawl. For now, this mad days is the hot blood stirring. Thou art like one of those fellows that when he enters the confines of a tavern, claps him with the sword upon the table and says, God, send me no need of thee. And by the operation of the second cup, draws it upon the drawer, when indeed there is no need. Am I like such a fellow? Come, come. Thou art a heart of Jack, and my mood is any in Italy. And I soon move to be moody, and I soon moody to be moved. What two? Nay, and there were two such. First, I'm not sure if one would kill the other. Thou, 
Why, that'll quarrel with a man.